Oh my god, nice shot. Rocket League players are some of the weirdest, most creative individuals in gaming. Wow. Now you would think a game like Minecraft or Roblox would have a better claim to that title with its open and endless possibilities, but if you think about it, nothing makes a player base more desperate for something new than a game that revolves around one thing and one thing only. Look at some of the strategies that Rocket League geniuses are uncovering and you'll see what I mean. Take for instance, the flute shot. The controller throw ceiling shot. Let's go. The mouse wheel wall dash. That's just ridiculous. And I can't believe I'm saying this in a video, but check out the toe meta. This is Javanon. He doesn't consider himself an insane freestyler or a ranked player. Instead, he spends most of his time in training. I'm kind of brain dead and ranked as a result of me playing training so much. And there is a lot of time that I spend in training where I'm practicing stuff that is not going to help me at all competitively. But, but it looks really cool. And just to like know that I'm capable of doing it was like really satisfying. Let's go, yes! I really admire that. It's a cool side of the game. It's just like trick shotting, basically. Yeah, exactly. I'm not like a hardcore freestyler where I practice like backboard resets and plan Bs. Like I don't care about that kind of stuff, really. I either spend my time learning things that I think could be cool and effective in a real game or things that I don't think anyone's ever done before. With enough training, he was able to do a lot of cool things, almost anything he could imagine. But there was one mechanic that he was completely stuck on the stall. I was just having such a hard time with the regular way of doing it. I'm very inconsistent with moving my thumbs where I intend to move them. I could be more relatable than that. To stall, you have to do three things at once. Press air roll left or right, turn left or right, the opposite direction you're air rolling, and dodge. It's mostly used to chain together multiple flip resets, which basically means you're never going to use it. Moving the stick exactly to the right while air rolling and jumping is very hard for me to do. So I was just trying to think outside the box. Stalls on keyboard and mouse are super easy because you don't have to worry about moving in the right position, just press the buttons. And I was like, I wonder if I could set it up to where I could use the keyboard without having to like take my hands off the controller. I just bound those three inputs to spacebar, and then all you gotta do is give it a little light tap, and you have a stall. You're making it sound way more doable than even I thought when I saw you do it. Yeah, it's a piece of cake. It doesn't change anything about the game. You don't need a third party plugin. You can do it in the game. The way you explained it and how simple it is, now I want to try it for the video. <laughs> I wasn't planning on doing this, but I think I'm going to try it. Dude, you definitely should. I think I'm going to try it right now. The way to set it up depends. Do you usually air roll left or right? I use air roll right. Okay. You go to each action and set it to spacebar. So for you, that's going to be air steer left, air roll right, and jump. Okay, got it. And then air roll right. Space bar, okay. And then jump. Okay, they're all on space bar, so now... Let's go. That's crazy, bro. Oh, <laughs> that's not fair. I can almost just do it now without my toe, like if I just went under. And there's a stall. <laughs> I didn't even do that with my toe. That's... That's crazy. It's so easy, yeah. All right, well, let's see some of it. Let's see some of it. Let's go into a private match. All right. It's not that I didn't believe Javanon was consistent with this, but I definitely wanted to see it in action because being able to do it once is one thing, but being able to do it on command is another thing. Oh my oh, God, yeah. nice <laughs> shot. <laughs> I did something. Let's go. Oh my god, that was Balled into the last touch. Let's go. What you were saying about how you struggle to put your thumb exactly the direction the stick needs to go, I felt that so much because I... Nice shot! There's a little musty. <laughs> I mean, it, it went in, but it was... Oh, musty. Was that a double reset musty or something? No, nah, I wish. Oh, that was I had one. That was nice, though. Oh, that looks sick. <gasps> nice. Okay, I mean, I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> After he made his point that he could definitely do this consistently, I asked him if he wanted to play some games, even though he's normally used to just doing training. And he agreed, so we played a game. So what about just getting a pedal that acts like a keyboard? I honestly definitely should do that. I I just, I hadn't bought any extra like hardware for doing this yet because this worked and I just don't really think about it past that. Oh my God, people are going to be doing this. I think pedals are like 10 bucks. Like you get a pedal input, USB, put it in there. Yeah, then you don't even have to sacrifice your keyboard. Like literally no loss at all. And yeah. You can do it in the game. Just right below you. You just tap that to stall. Man, this is going to be crazy. The thing is most of the Rocket League player base is below GC. So most people are not mechanical enough to where they would 
would need to use a stall. Most of us are just focusing on like hitting the ball. I haven't figured out a button to score every time yet, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let me know when you discover that. See, toe stall. Oh, oh wow. That yeah. musty, musty to the moon there. <laughs> Actually, almost got a touch on that. That would have been nice. So did you see the waiting uh, scroll wheel video where he I did. I did, and I, I immediately went and I tried it. I was like, wow, that's pretty easy. I wonder if I could possibly do it fast enough with my fingers. I basically went in and, and watched the video super slow-mo to see about what the gap was between each input, and I saw it was about 65 milliseconds, and I calculated how many but, uh, presses per second that would be. I think it was like 14, which is like really a lot. Yeah. But then I, I developed this method where I... Um, I push the uh, the right trigger into my right leg so that I can then use both my thumb and my index finger on the jump button and then I do this like kind of pinching motion on it where I, I, ba I basically just slam into it really hard. I think it's called like jitter clicking or something like that. <laughs> jitter, yeah, um, jitter clicking, the other meta. It, it's kind of similar to this in that you're, you're taking advantage of the way that keyboard and mouse works to be able to do something that you can't otherwise. But right. I got to try. Okay, I'm going to put my keyboard on the ground. I'm going I'm to try. I'm going to do some toe stalls. Let's, let's do it. So I'm recording on my phone and I have my keyboard on the ground here. There's my feet. <laughs> Why does this feel wrong? My toe, my space bar. Seems to be working. Ah, oh, it's so weird to have my foot on my keyboard. <laughs> you wouldn't think it's weird, but it is. Yeah, it's, it definitely feels a little different. <laughs> it's not something most people practice. No, no, it's uh, it's definitely a mechanic I have uh, have not worked on. <laughs> oh, my own neck. Plus. Like, I literally just stalled as the shot. Like, I just was like, let me stall into it. Point. Ah, okay. So was, that was just that, that was a that, that, toe stall shot. Man, we might see the rise of the toe meta. Dude, RLCS world is better. Have everyone with their shoes off, just <laughs> oh, this... keyboard on the ground. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for uh, teaching me the the toe stall. Yeah, no problem, man.